Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Podprime. If you want to make like this type of animated customer's background for your website, your platform and your videos and much more things if you want to make like this. So this is basically we made it using some images and some CSS, very simple line of the CSS animation property over there. So we're going to make this in this video right now here. So if you want to don't miss about this type videos of animated in future, you must be subscribed to our channel and stay tuned with us. So let's get started with this video. Now here you can see I have opened my Visual Code Student. There you can see basically I have two files, which is one index.html file and another one is CBC, which is means the customer is busy and I have added a logo put it on there. So we are going to animate these images, so multiple types of color and for example, if you want to using this some um, website and whatever you want. So you can use it so we're going to make it as a for purpose that for website and for animated anywhere you want you can use it so we're going to make this one so first of all i'm going to open my index.html file and here i'm going to create the basic html file one there so i'm going to write in a title which is christmas christmas animated this so that's it now we don't need to write it anything inside of there we are going to using applying this directly the css for here so here first of all i'm gonna open in the html file so i'm gonna open an html file over there then the body i'm gonna take in here before we're going to be taking it i'm gonna taking a universal css selector which is a star and i'm gonna make it as a margin zero and then padding zero And then i'm gonna make it as a box sizing it's also will be zero so i have created a basic css selector now we're going to provide the writing css for the body so mainly i'm gonna making it for the body for the background so busy over there so i'm gonna write in here as a display okay don't need to write in any display flex so because i'm not going to make it in the center over there so directly we can write here with this 100 percent and then height is 100 vh so it will be taking a complete of the 100 vertical height of this screen over here and then we're going to making as a background so i'm gonna add a background images so url and then inside of this i'm gonna put in this images which is our cbz i have already so i'm gonna put in this images inside of there now i'm gonna save this file and i'm gonna open this file with the browser and you can, as you can see this is looking like this there is only plain this images is background that I've mentioned there and this image is perfectly not displaying on there so we need to make some add some more CSS over there so back to our code studio and I'm gonna make it as a background size so it will be background size cover you cannot continue it will be cover now save this and let's back to here and reload it now you can see the image is perfectly seated on the background from the left and right and top and bottom is perfectly seated and it was as well as the perfectly matches this image is seated on there. Now let's go back here. So this is we have completed the basic about there. So now we need to writing for the animated property. So I'm gonna make it as an animation and this will be the motion will be completely a moving motion. So I'm gonna add an animation which is anim color okay there is one the animation property name animation color which is one second linear infinite okay now save it and now we're going to open this for the animation property so here i'm going to take it for the keyframe first of all so you know that animation is very important for the keyframe so without keyframe the animation will not work so we're going to take it as a keyframe so i'm going to take it as a default keyframe this will be completely okay so now i'm going to create this the animation name which is we have write it that anim color now copy this one and after this keyframe paste this the animation property name and then open the css file in the curly braces over here so now i'm going to make it as a directly on the person it will be move on here and then i'm going to make it this when this person is the animation is running 100 person then i'm gonna make it as a filter so i'm gonna make it filter okay. 
okay the filter will be here i'm gonna make it okay not for this filter what happened filter you rotate it will be 360 degree this means that when we're going to filter in the color effect of the hue effect it will be moved for the 360 degree it means all the colors property which we have in 360 angle so all the color will be applied one there so now we have set it now save this and go back to the websites and just reload this page okay there is nothing is affecting there is no one is working so let's back to here okay the reason of not working because this animation property and this is basically not work for the body section so we need to take another classes inside of there so i'm gonna take in class which is cbz and then i'm gonna open it there is we really don't need to write it anything over there now copy this class name here and just go to here and instead of body we're going to paste in this class name over there and make sure dot is adjustable on there then save this file and go to back so there you can see that animation is moving on there and the animation is run started so this is basically how we can animate it in images and this type of pastiness images in effect you can add one your side background like a footer your header or something important documents an important thing you want to write it so that position you can add this type of animation you can change and adjust above the time frame about there so if you make it like five seconds then it will be go more delay of the animation over there and if you make more delay one there so you want to make very fast so for that you can make it like 0 0.5 seconds and then you can make the animation is very faster one there so you can adjustable by matching this second of the time frame so whatever you want you can make it as adjustable so for different depending one word prices of the criteria so what means if your website is looking like so light up you want to make some attention of the so much up then you can make it as a so a lot of this and decrease this second time so as the minimum is possible you can make it and if you don't want to see that more, not more attractive and not affected in your eyes so for that case you can just increase the time frame and second on there so you can adjust the time frame and everything so i hope to understand that how basically it's work and this is the coding the basic simple coding over there so this also will be get into my blog post it over there so you can also follow me there and there you can find this is that review about the platform so this will be get this like your platform and whatever you want you can add it very easily so i hope you enjoy this video please like on it and share the video with your friends and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so to get for the more new tips and new types of this animated effect and like more the programming language learning and much more